Ever wonder how the tiny yet powerful screw comes to life? It's a tale of industry, precision, and human ingenuity. These minute marvels are integral to our everyday life. From holding up the structures we live and work in, to keeping our technology devices intact, the humble screw is a silent hero. It's the unsung champion of construction, the quiet achiever in technology, and the unnoticed detail in countless items we use daily. Despite its small size, the screw carries a heavy load, literally and figuratively, in various industries. It's a symbol of how the smallest components can make the biggest difference. This video is a tribute to the screw and an exploration of its creation. We're about to delve into the fascinating process of screw making, from raw material to the finished product. So tighten your seatbelts and prepare to be threaded into the intricate world of screws. Embark on a journey into the world of screws, where small meets mighty. Screws begin their life as long steel rods. But how do they transform into the threaded marvels we know? Well, the journey of a screw starts in a steel mill where strong, sturdy steel rods are carefully crafted. These rods, which can be several meters long, are the raw material for our humble screws. But they are far from becoming the screws we know and use daily. The first step in the transformation process is cutting these long rods into smaller pieces, referred to as blanks. This process, known as blanking, is executed with high precision. The length of the blanks is determined by the size of the screw to be made. So whether you're creating a tiny screw for a pair of glasses or a large one for a construction project, it all starts with a blank of the right size. Once we have our blanks, it's time to give them some shape. This is where the process of heading comes into play. During heading, one end of the blank is shaped into what we recognize as the head of the screw. This might be a flat slotted head, a cross-shaped Phillips head, or any number of other designs. The heading process is carried out under immense pressure using powerful machines that can exert force of several tons. The type of head given to the screw depends on its intended use. For instance, a flat slotted head might be perfect for a simple woodworking project, while a more complex Phillips head might be used in intricate electronic devices. The heading process also creates the shank of the screw the long smooth part under the head. At this stage, the screw is starting to look like the familiar object we know, but it's still missing a crucial element, the threads that allow it to grip and hold materials together. In this journey of transformation, we've seen how a long steel rod becomes a headed blank ready to take on its next form. The birth of a screw is a fascinating process, combining precise engineering with powerful machinery. From a simple steel rod to a headed blank, the screw has started to take shape. A screw isn't a screw without its threads, but how do these intricate spirals come to be, you might ask? Well, the answer lies in the art of threading. This is where the blank's body, which we saw being formed in the previous scene, is skillfully manipulated to create the threads, the spirals that make a screw a screw. The threading process is a marvel of mechanical engineering where the blank's body is cut or rolled to create the threads. This can be done in a couple of ways, each resulting in different types of screws. Let's dive into the two main methods, cutting and rolling. First, we have the cutting method, also known as the subtractive method. Picture this, a blank is held firmly in place and a cutting die shaped to the exact thread profile desired is applied. As the die cuts into the blank's body, it removes material to form the threads. This method is often used for creating custom screws or those with unique thread profiles. On the other hand, we have the rolling method, which is a formative process. Instead of cutting away material, the blank is placed between two rolling dies imprinted with the negative of the thread profile. Under high pressure, the blank's material is pushed and formed into the thread shape. This method is favored for mass production as it's cost-effective and results in screws with stronger threads due to the work hardening of the material, but it doesn't end there. Different methods can create different screw types. For instance, a machine screw commonly used in machinery usually has its threads created by cutting. A wood screw, on the other hand, which needs to be sharper and more pointed for better penetration into wood, often has its threads rolled. So threading is not just about creating spirals on a screw, it's an art form that requires precision and understanding of materials and their behavior. It's a process that gives the humble screw its unique identity and purpose. With the threading complete, our screw is nearly ready for action. The journey of a screw is fascinating, isn't it? But hold on, we're not done yet. The finishing touches await in our next scene. Stay tuned. 
A screw's journey isn't over yet. There's still a few finishing touches to be added. You see, a screw isn't just cut from metal and sent on its way. No, it undergoes a series of final steps to ensure it's up to the task. These steps may include coating the screw with a layer of material to prevent corrosion and increase durability. This could be zinc, nickel, or even a layer of paint for aesthetic purposes. The type of coating often depends on where the screw is destined to be used. For instance, a screw meant for outdoor use may be coated with a weather-resistant material. Another finishing touch is heat treating. This process involves heating the screw to a high temperature and then rapidly cooling it. This strengthens the screw, making it more resistant to wear and tear. These final steps ensure that every screw is not only functional but also long-lasting. And there we have it, a finished screw ready to hold the world together. From steel rod to threaded marvel, the process of making a screw is a testament to human ingenuity. We've embarked on a journey together, tracing the life of a screw from its humble beginnings as a simple rod of steel. We've seen the precision and care it takes to cut and head the blanks, shaping the unformed metal into the recognizable silhouette of a screw. Then we ventured into the world of threading, where each spiral groove is carefully carved, giving the screw its gripping power. And finally, we witnessed the finishing touches, the coating and hardening that protect the screw from corrosion and wear, ensuring its longevity. Each step, a vital part of the process, coming together to create this small but mighty tool. Next time you see a screw, remember the journey it took to become such a small but mighty tool. Until next time, stay curious.